Hey guys, it's Ron White. I was on the National Geographic show Brain Games, and on that show, I went around Times Square and I asked people to show me the money in their pockets. I looked at the dollar bills and I memorized the serial number on it and I handed it back and repeated the serial numbers. It was a great memory demonstration. And the question is, was it magic, a unique ability for me, or is it something that anybody can learn? The good news is anybody can learn how to do it and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So how did I memorize the numbers on the dollar bills on the TV show Brain Games? The first thing that I did is I had to do a little bit of preparation work. And that is, is I had to create pictures for numbers because numbers are on the dollar bill and to remember anything you need a picture for it. My picture for the number one was a pencil because a one looks like a pencil. My picture for the number two was a duck because a duck's neck kind of looks like a number two. Three was a pyramid because there's three sides to a pyramid. Four I determined would be a box because there's four sides on a box. Number five was a star because there's five points on a star. Number six, I made it an elephant because if you turn a number six on its side, a number six kind of looks like an elephant, the body of the elephant and then the trunk. Number seven was dice because I don't know if you know this, but opposite sides always add up to seven on dice. If there's a one on top, it's a six on bottom. If there's a three on top, there's a four on bottom. So seven was dice. Number eight for me was a snowman because an eight kind of looks like a snowman. Number nine, I made it a balloon because the balloon looks like the the circle on a nine and then the string coming down looks like the line on the number nine. 10 for me was a plate and a fork because a fork is the one and a plate looks like a circle that makes up the number 10. And I did this all the way up to 20. 11 was a goal post because a goal post has two sides on it. 12 was eggs because a dozen eggs. 13 was a mountain because the curves of a three, if you lay it on its side, kind of look like the curves of mountaintops. 14, I made a necklace, 14 karat gold. Maybe February 14th, you give a necklace for Valentine's Day. Number 15, I turned into a picture of a drums because the five kind of looks like a drums with the symbol above it. And the one looks like the drumstick. So 15 was drums. 16 for me was a car because you got to be 16 to get a driver's license. 17, I used a woodpecker because the one looked like a tree and the seven looked like a woodpecker pecking away at the tree. Number 18 for me is handcuffs because the two circles look like the handcuffs and the one looks like the key. 18 was handcuffs. So 19, I used golf clubs because there are 18 holes on a golf course, but the 19th hole is where you go to get your lemonade or hang out after the game. 19th hole, 19 is golf clubs. And number 20, I used fingers and toes, 10 fingers, 10 toes, 20 fingers and toes. So after the first step, I've turned numbers one to 20 into pictures. I also did the same thing with letters. A for me, I decided was going to be an apple. B was going to be a bumblebee. C was going to be a cat. D was going to be a dog. I created pictures for every letter of the alphabet. Then after I had pictures for numbers and I had pictures for letters, the next thing that I had to do is I had to memorize a map of my house. I stood in the doorway of every single one of my rooms and I picked five pieces of furniture in each room. One, two, three, four, five. Then I stood in the doorway of the next room, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I numbered things like desks, beds, TVs, refrigerators, microwaves, stoves. I numbered my house. This is what is called the mind palace. So real quick recap. The first thing that I did is I created pictures for numbers, then I created pictures for letters, and then I numbered pieces of furniture in my house. Then I went to Times Square. In Times Square, somebody would hand me a dollar bill and I would open it up and the first two letters would say I H. Well, I for me was an igloo, like in Alaska, and H was a hat. So on my first piece of furniture, I would imagine an igloo to remember the letter I. On my second piece of furniture, I would imagine taking off a hat and setting it on there to remember H. Now let's say the next sequence of letters would be one, three, 13, right? Well, we've already decided that 13, our picture for that's gonna be a mountain because a 
three on its side, kind of looks like the shape of a mountain. So on my third piece of furniture in that room, I imagine mountains and I imagine the cold weather. That reminds me of the number 13. Then let's say the next number in the sequence was seven. Well, we have already decided that our picture for the number seven is dice. So we imagine the game of dice or craps or monopoly, dice being thrown on our next piece of furniture. So to remember that sequence of letters and numbers, I would think back to the house. The first piece of furniture was an igloo, so I said I. The next piece of furniture, there was a hat, so I said H. The next piece of furniture, we saw the mountain, so I would say one, three. And then the next piece of furniture, there was dice, and so I would say seven. I, H, one, three, seven. And that's really how I memorized the dollar bills. I would just go through the sequence and I was seeing, I was seeing balloons for number nine. I was seeing a cat for the letter C and I would just imagine it around my house. So that's how I did it. That's the simple trick and the simple system that I use to memorize serial numbers on dollar bills. The way that you get good at this is number five pieces of furniture in each room of your house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close your eyes, say them forwards and backwards. Make sure that you know them solid and then create pictures for numbers. Whenever you see those numbers or whenever you hear those numbers, imagine those numbers the pictures interacting with your furniture, and you should be able to memorize a string of numbers. I used it with dollar bills. Every dollar bill, I had its own separate room so I could keep the, the dollar bill separate in my mind. So if you want to amaze your friends and memorize the serial numbers on dollar bills, it's a crazy cool skill. It's a crazy cool trick. All you have to do is click the link right here, and I will send you my pictures for numbers totally free. I'll also send you my pictures for letters totally free. Click the link right here, you're gonna amaze your friends. Or click the link in the text description below and we'll send it to you right now. All right guys, so you're still here. Hey, we got, I got some more videos here that you're gonna really love. This one right here is how I memorized the numbers on Stanley's Superhumans on the History Channel. Check this out right here, more training on how to memorize numbers.